Robin Julie, there were 200 liquor law violators here on campus in 2015. 17 of those were arrested, and most of this under drinking incidents are happening in residence halls like the ones behind me, which could pose some challenges for law enforcement. It's common for college campuses like UNO's to ban alcohol, but the term dry doesn't mean much for those looking for liquor. And I've gotten a lot of calls being like a DD for some friends and definitely that's a concern with with uh, kids especially um, around here. UNO freshman Drew McCord says peer pressure keeps students from reporting underage drinkers. Take a look at this data from UNO's Department of Public Safety. 443 violations from 2013 to 2015, resulting in 70 arrests. We're not looking to get anybody in trouble. We're looking to get somebody the help that they need to make sure that we don't incur those deaths or, or serious injuries. Chief Charlotte Evans says there's a spike in numbers because of better data, not necessarily more offenders. But one thing is certain, most violations are in residence halls, which could get tricky for search warrants. There's different rules that apply in terms of searching people's rooms. Um, you know, students have a certain expectation of privacy when they're in their dorm room. If students are caught with alcohol, they could face criminal charges, discipline, or get referred for on-campus intervention programs. Asking people what it is that, what are their goals, why are they here, what do they want to accomplish. you got to think of the future. It's not, it's not worth blowing the future, and uh, that's, that's my reasoning behind it. And law enforcement has this reminder. In Nebraska, minors are immune from prosecution if he or she is calling 911, seeking help, or looking for help for a friend who's had too much to drink. On UNO Campus Live tonight, Chindone, KETV News Watch 7.